So here's a nice little extension going on and it's been pouring with rain since they poured the concrete for the foundations. It hasn't let up and then today, funnily enough, is probably the driest day they've had, but they've kept going. Because they got a beam and block floor, they could do that in the rain, they carried on doing that in the rain. And now they've made themselves a lovely little canopy here, if the wind doesn't blow too hard. So they can get on with a brick line because the scaffolding's coming next week, so they've got to get up to that lift. So uh, it's a question of keeping the bricks dry, it's a question of keeping the mortar not too wet. But they're making great progress. Unfortunately, they've got these horrible London bricks, these LBC flittons that nobody likes. But funnily enough, their lot, we did a thing with Sam Ward where his are all chipped to bits, but they don't seem to be too bad. Yours, have you got a lot of rejects coming on them or not? We've got a few, but mainly because it's, they're so wet. Like oh, really? Chipped, yeah. They, they get chipped when they're wet? No, they, they are just generally wet, and that's we just yeah. put them one side oh I see you're just drying them out yeah 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 you could get your labourer to blow on them couldn't you Chris he's got a lot of hot air <laughs> <laughs> so Chris why are they all so polite to you you seem to be the gentleman of a site here I don't know Roger I don't know mate you know when you go home they're totally yeah, changed do they? they abuse me they go back to that do they, they go back to that there is a law yeah. against abusing there is. until they want a cup of tea then they're nice again it's like uh, I think a modern slavery law or something <laughs> He does make a nice cup of tea. Does he? Does he? Yeah. Big, big hint all the time. No, no, he's, he's good at it. Yeah, but does he bring it on regularly? Well, not enough. Not enough, Tom. Oh, well, not enough. No profiles for you then on the corners. You just bring it all up on the level, yeah? We, we do use them, but honestly, it's too bitty this one, isn't it? So it's all about the insulation now then, isn't it? Yeah, it's thicker now, isn't it? Oh, yeah. you've got to use the 90mm Celotex that's yeah. uh, for the cavities, for the new rolls. So, so that's yeah. a major, major expense, isn't it? That's we prefer up to use the dry therm, the one, yeah. and do a 150 yeah. cavity. Yeah. 150 cavity now? Yeah. <gasps> Silly, isn't it? But yeah. Those are the so uh, what what happens what happens about lintels with that then? Uh, they, they, they do bigger ones now. Yeah, they've had to change them yeah. all. So. It's just a one piece lintel still, is it, or do you do them in two? No, two, one with the insulation. I know, between, yeah, but yeah. They're still like dry. Uh, they're just wider. So. Yeah. Lovely bit of donging up there, my friend. Thank you. Got to take a bit of pride at me. Yeah, yeah. Anyone can lay bricks. It's all in the donging, really, isn't it? <laughs> it's all in the rubbing up. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen that. You put sharp sand over the top, do you? Basically, the whole thing has to be encased in sharp sand. Yeah, so you wrap it. Wrap it in the geotextile. Yeah, and then, and then sharp sand. And then sharp sand. Oh, I've never done that. That's, that's interesting. Yeah. They're non traffic crates, they're slightly cheaper. I know, yeah, yeah. But um, you get the more heavy duty ones for I know, those. yeah. yeah. Well, I didn't know that you had to put the sharp sand around, so obviously they'll put filter. Yeah, luckily, filter you know, into the ground. ground. Here, it's, this is quite permeable the ground. Yeah. But sometimes it's, it's, it's like just clay. It's going nowhere, is it? Waste of time. Yeah. Yeah. Places, so. Nice, neat soak away, though, mate. This interesting little feature here where it steps out slightly, and they've carried that round, pulled that course out slightly, and um, then they've got 150 millimeter cavity here because that's what they need now. If you're going to use this. Dry therm, otherwise you've got to do it with Celtex, Celtex or Kingspan or something like that where you can get away with 90mm but then it's, it's expensive isn't it and it's not as nice, this stuff is quite nice to lay with as long as you keep it clean and they are keeping it clean. The other thing that amazes me about you guys is you're actually quite fast aren't you? You really get it we done. We try to crack on and go to the next customer and keep all the customers happy so So what's going in there then? That's the gas meters being Oh, made the gas meters, yeah. Right oh yeah, because they don't want that in the way, do they? The wind's picking up, my friend. Yeah, it'll be flying away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That'll save you striking it, won't it, if it just blows away one night.
Neil's not doing anything now really, he was... Tom's a bit. Polythene on top of this, on, on top of the here, yeah. on top of the beam and block. Yeah. And then lapped up to that. Yeah, yeah. yeah.